All right, five minute warm up. Welcome, let's get started. Today we're gonna talk about GPS watches during road racing. And look, I love my GPS watch. I use it all the time. I use it in training, I use it in racing. I also live in the city. And most of the races that I do are in the Atlanta area. And even when I travel, they tend to be in other metropolitan areas. More importantly, when you do races, there are usually more than one other person there. There's multiple people. And a lot of these people are also using their GPS watches. So, should you use your GPS watch in the race? Let me give you something to think about. The GPS watches are great for setting paces. There's no question. However, when you are in a race, your time is computed from the start line to the finish line. It doesn't matter how much weaving you did and how many extra miles you did. The 10K or the half marathon or the marathon distance is determined by the mile marks and the beginning and the end of line. That's the only splits that matter. Moreover, in a lot of big city races, such as the Chicago Marathon, New York, any, any marathon, any half marathon that happens in a city, you have buildings that can obstruct GPS watches and it can give you inaccurate readings on your watch. That can also happen if there's a lot of people there. It can happen buildings, tunnels, bridges, whatever, right? There can be obstacles that obstruct the signal and can get you off the pace. So my advice would be when you are racing in a race and if you are already used to wearing a watch, wear your watch. If you're used to using the splits, use the splits, use a GPS, no problem. However, I wouldn't rely on the pace the GPS watch tells you. Instead, I would make sure to manually lap yourself at every mile marker. That is gonna be your true split. So every mile, you're gonna get a true split for your pace. You'll have the intermediate knowledge from the GPS, but the only one that matters is that split that happens at the mile marker. You do that, you have a much better sense for your actual time and your actual splits. And if the distance your GPS watch is giving you is a lot further than, or sorry, if you're hitting the miles quicker than what the race course is telling you, that's gonna let you know that you're probably not running it optimally. You're not hitting those tangents right. Maybe you're weaving a lot, and that's good information to have as you go forward in the race to try to run those tangents better and weave around less. The last thing I would say is a good pro tip is make sure you turn off the auto split feature on your watch. Nothing is worse than having your watch split one mile when you're at the .95 mark and you haven't hit it yet, right? Turn that off, look at your GPS paces, that's fine, but lap it yourself when you get to the mile markers to get a true split and that's gonna help you a ton as you run races. Best wishes.